What's going on guys? Today we're back in the shop, back working on the 60 series Land Cruiser. So we finally got the bearing kit and the rebuilt kit in. So we're gonna get all that put together. You can see the riding on the pavement. Young kids that grow up in basements. Online a whole new So we've already put, this is half of the transfer case. We've already soaked this in the parts cleaner, got this all cleaned off. We're getting the other part pulled off the rig right now. Get it all cleaned up and put back together. All right, so we got the other half of the transfer case in the parts cleaner here. You can see what it looks like, just absolute mess. Completely covered in dirt. So that's what that half looked like too. And you'll see after that side gets done, just how clean it gets it. This bearing pressed off and then we're gonna get that bearing pressed off so we got our sketchy set up here should be just fine okay let's see how she goes <laughs> standing all the way over there huh mm -hmm. okay pretty smart just trying to get the whole shot let's see Look at that. Oh yeah. Okay. Huh? Nice. Now we'll flip it over and do the other side. This one. Got it all apart. Now we'll get the new bearings pressed on and get it back together. All right, so we got our brand new bearing, which just it feels like butter compared to our old one. Where's our old one? Let's find it. Ah. It's over here. So here's our old bearing and our new bearing. You can probably hear that crunchiness and just butter smooth. So that's gonna really improve just the, it's gonna improve things. So we'll get bearing, make sure it's lined up straight. This is our old bearing. Get this going. Now we'll get our race driver. And guess. That worked pretty good.
Oh, we got a bigger hammer. Should go easier. Ah. I think it's good. I'll go with this. Yep. So, you can see we've got room for our snap ring to fit back in. So, this guy cleaned up a little bit. And just start working it in here. That brings in bearing installed. All right, now we just got to install our output seal. Get that all level looks pretty good. And then get some grease on the inside In there. All right, so now we got our front output shaft all cleaned up, and we're gonna start that through here, make sure we don't mess up the bearings. Okay, and get our output flange started like so. Okay, yeah, we could probably, might just take this over to the press and press it all the way in. Make sure that it's all good to go. And that feels seated. front output flange pressed on and we can go torque this bolt down and be done. All right, so we got the Ugga Duggas. Let's turn it to all the torques. Ow. Yeah, I don't know how good this is going to work here. Um, hit your wrong tool. All right, so we got the first half of the transfer case installed onto the transmission. And those bolts are torqued to spec. So now we'll keep building. Okay. All right, so next we need to install our shift collar for, uh, this will engage our four wheel drive and our shift fork. So we'll put that right there. Slide that forward. Get to line up with the gears. Okay. Now that's installed. Now we can install this guy and just, just line those up with that. Bam. Good, good to go. Now we can install our idler gears and our uh, four wheel drive gears. <laughs> All right. So now we got to install our thrush washer and that's going to go right in there in that notch. And then our idler rod is just gonna sit right there. Okay. All right, so now we got our idler bearings. And so we're gonna, we got those packed with grease that slid on, our spacer ring slid on. Slide over that O-ring here. Oh, come on. I play that game, huh? Okay. 
Uh, now let's let our spacer ring them back on. Just either the bearing. And we'll leave that little ring off for now. And then our idler gears. Slide right on. O-ring back on. Okay, ready for the next step. All right, so now we're gonna be putting on our output gear onto the output of the transmission. So we have this all greased up because that's gonna be sealing on that seal. So we're just gonna wanna work that on there and then mesh with these gears. There we go. There we go. And get that seated on there. And then we have our PTO spacer, which let's get some grease on that. Get that lubed up. There we go. Now we're pretty close to getting these gears on. All right, so now we're gonna be pressing on our new bearings and our two high, four high uh, gear selector. So we got socket here. Got a small extension. <laughs> uh, smaller. So there's a snap ring that's gonna be going right there. So we need to make sure that we get the gear pressed on all the way. And we're using our bearing that matches the race that we already installed. seated so now we can release it and do the other side but you can see here we have enough room to get our snap ring back on so that's the the main thing everything's looking good so now we have that part in we got this gear on. We're gonna be pressing on this bearing. So we're gonna use this as a spacer. Make sure that's closed. Okay, let's seat it. All right. Bam. Bearing is on. Everything's still spinning. It's good signs. All right, so now we're going to get our gears back in. Hopefully. I think it's all gonna line up here. Let's see, let's move. Yeah, that's there. Just gonna have to work this in.
Do you want me to go put it in neutral? Um, yeah. <laughs> Alright, got it. Get our shift fork in here. And that. Oh, shoot. You may have to slide it back out. So I can get that shift fork in there. Dang it. Dang it. All right, so we forgot our shift fork, so we're gonna get this pulled out a little bit and then get this installed in there. Or actually, I don't know. This maybe is a long side. Is it in neutral? Oh, go make sure it is. All right, guys, so we got the transfer case all put back together. Got the drive lines all hooked back up, all cleaned up. Just waiting for the sealer to dry right now. And then we'll put some oil in it and test it out, see if she works. I think it will. <laughs> 